Infinity QX30 Review Our Rating 3 Star The QX30 is a mildly ruggedest version of the Q30 hatchback, but its comfortable ride can't make up for a poor engine and high price. 4. Quirky styling, plenty of kit, comfortable. Against. Loud diesel engine, expensive, only one engine option. The Infiniti QX30 is a good looking car, but it really should be considered more of a crossover family hatchback than a bona fide crossover SUV. Smaller dimensions than rivals such as the BMW X1 mean it isn't as practical, while the fact there's only one engine available also limits its appeal. Still, the trend for fashionable jacked-up models such as the QX30 shows no sign of slowing down and the QX30 is in a decent position to reap some of the benefits. The Infiniti's quirky looks, long list of standard equipment and neat cabin design will certainly catch the eye of potential buyers, but it's worth noting that more talented rivals are around for similar cash. Our choice. Infiniti QX30. The Infiniti QX30 is the second small car from Infiniti, and it follows the template set out by the Q30 hatchback in that it uses the same running gear as the Mercedes A-Class. This crossover model, however, has some incredibly stiff opposition in the shape of the BMW X1, Mercedes Gla and Audi Q3. It's marked out from the standard Q30 by a ride height that has been raised by 55mm as well as extra body cladding on the wheel arches, front and rear bumpers. Chrome roof rails have also been added for extra visual effect. Best crossovers to buy 2016. Despite using the same chassis as the smaller Q30 hatch and Mercedes A-Class, the QX30 is only offered with a single drivetrain, a 168bhp 2.2-liter diesel with an automatic gearbox and four-wheel drive. While Infiniti may have made the decision for you as to what engine will be under the bonnet, there is a choice of two trim levels, premium and premium tech. The former costs £29,490 and the latter £33,370. It's around £2,000 more than the Q30 hatchback model for model. As standard, all models come fitted with a full leather interior, SAT NAV and dual zone climate control air conditioning. Engines, performance and drive. 3.4 star. Smooth and comfortable but there's only one diesel engine and that limits appeal. There is just one powertrain option in the QX30 a 2.2 liter 4 cylinder diesel engine with a 7 speed automatic gearbox and 4 wheel drive. It's essentially the same as the Mercedes Gla 220D4 MATIC, although it's 168 bhp is 9 bhp down on the Merc. Like the Mercedes, the Infiniti has plenty of engine noise outside, although decent sound deadening in the cabin means it's fairly quiet. Acceleration is reasonable, Infiniti claims a 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint time of 8.5 seconds, which is on PAR with most rivals in the class. The Infiniti features the same 7-speed gearbox as the Gla, but with only 3 modes to choose from, compared with 5 in the Mercedes. There are Echo, Sport, and Manual options, with the last of these giving you full control of the box via its steering wheel mounted paddles. Infiniti QX30 2016, Front Cornering Echo Mode delivers a dull throttle response to boost economy, but the sport setting just holds onto the gears rather than sharpening its responses. The gear shifts themselves are smooth in standard mode and jerkier in sport, although they're never as severe as the Mercedes gloss shifts. The soft nature of the QX30 is further evident in how the chassis copes with rough surfaces. While the soft suspension and tires soak up bumps fairly well, the car does tend to bob around. This manifests itself with a floating sensation when cruising at motorway speeds, while the light steering doesn't deliver much in the way of feedback. However, it's no worse than the Glock in this regard, and is at least a fairly comfortable cruiser. Body roll is reasonably well controlled in corners but again, the soft suspension does tend to unsettle the car at times. At least it remains safe and predictable. Engines 
Unlike the standard Q30 hatchback which is available with various turbocharged and lowered powered diesel engines the QX30 only comes with one unit, a 168 bhp 2.2 liter diesel. Infiniti Q30 VS Mercedes Gla VS BMW X1 It's one of the biggest disadvantages with the Infiniti and immediately limits the appeal of this family car. The engine is a Mercedes unit and has been around for many years so there are no great surprises when you start it up. It's quite noisy and unrefined, while the automatic gearbox and four-wheel drive system impact economy in a negative way. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 3.2 star. Over 5.7 MPG for a four-wheel drive QX30 is decent but the lack of more efficient versions may harm sales. At over 33,000 pounds, the QX30 2.2D premium tech is rather pricey and around 2,000 pounds more than an equivalent Q30. However, what we would recommend doing is opting for the QX30 premium model and pocketing the near 4,000 pounds difference. You still get most of the features that matter. Coming paired with a DCT automatic gearbox and four-wheel drive as standard does impact fuel economy, Infiniti claims 57.6 mpg and CO2 emissions of 128 g/km meaning road tax is 110 pounds per year. Having said that, spec for spec a BMW X1 and Mercedes GLA return very similar economy figures. Insurance groups. Insurance for the QX30 is rated in group 23. To give you some context, an equivalent Audi Q3 and Mercedes GLA are categorized in Group 24 and 23 respectively. Depreciation Resale values of 46% are reasonable for a car from a niche firm such as Infiniti. That means when you come to sell the QX30 in three years time with around 36,000 miles on the clock you can expect it to fetch around 15,000 pounds. Interior, Design, and Technology 3.5 star. Radical exterior makes the QX30 stand out from the crowd but the interior is lacking imagination. Infinities are still rare on UK roads and the design language helps them to stand out even more. All of the brand's cars feature sculpted lines and a big grille flanked by small headlights, and the QX30 is no different. The QX30 shares its running gear with the Mercedes A-Class, but Infiniti has done a good job of hiding the car's roots, because it has entirely different bodywork, although it is essentially a Q30 with a raised ride height and extra cladding. It sits 55 mm higher than the hatch, but is the same length and width, so it's more like a crossover hatch, especially when you compare it with the SUV-style X1. That's not to say that the QX30 is without visual appeal, though. Far from it the swooping lines are attractive, and it looks less awkward than the GLA. From some angles there's a hint of Mazda 3 about the car's design, although the black wheel arch extensions, silver roof rails and skid plates front and rear add a bit of ruggedness to the looks. There's a single 18-inch wheel option, but the tall tires and plastic cladding of the QX30 mean they're a little lost in the arches when compared with some of the larger wheels you can get on the Q30. SAT NAV, Stereo and Infotainment Climb aboard and the QX30 Premium has a high-class cabin that matches the Q30 Premiums. There's leather as standard, wood trim and plenty of kit, although that also means you get a lot of obviously Mercedes source switch gear. The climate controls are identical to those of the A-Class, even down to the A-Class graphic on the air recirculation button, while the electric seat controls are located on the door, the electrically operated parking brake is by the driver's right knee and the electric window buttons are identical to those of the Mercedes. The SAT NAV and infotainment system on the QX30 is operated via a swivel wheel on the center console. It's simple enough to use but the graphics on the screen do look a little low rent and flat. Build quality is good, and the leather stitch dash insert adds a premium touch but there are some hard plastics on the center console and doors that let down the cabin. However, the QX30 is certainly no worse than the GLA in this regard. Practicality, Comfort, and Boot Space 
2.9 star. Limited rear passenger space and a boot that is no larger than the Q30 hatch. Even though the QX30 uses the same platform as the Glide, its differing body shape means it is a little less practical. Its 430 liter boot is 51 liters smaller than the Mercedes and 75 liters down on the BMW X1S. Back seat space is similar to the Mercedes, as is the driving position, which provides the same range of seat and steering wheel adjustment. However, the raised footrest is awkwardly positioned for those who have long legs. The narrow back window and thick pillars make rear visibility poor, so it's worth adding the 1,800 pounds safety pack, which comes with a 360 degree camera. Size The QX30 is 55 mm taller than the Q30 but the length and width of both cars are identical. However, the more bulbous bodywork means the Infiniti is a little wider and longer than the Mercedes Glot, but that doesn't equate to a more spacious interior. Legroom, headroom, and passenger space. A consequence of the stylish but sloping roofline means passenger space in the back isn't the best around. Adults taller than 6 feet will feel their heads brushing against the roof, while the small rear window also makes it feel quiet claustrophobic. Boot. Despite the QX30 being more rugged and taller compared to the Q30, the 430-liter boot inside is exactly the same size. The relatively small opening and high boot lip don't help matters and there's no underfloor storage. Reliability and safety. 3 star. The QX30 is yet to be rated in the drive power survey and there are only 14 dealerships in the UK. The QX30 has yet to be tested by the crash test experts at Euro NCAP, but its sister car, the Q30, has been and achieved a 5 star rating. The crossover has city braking, 7 airbags and lane departure warning as standard, while the 1,800 pound safety pack adds adaptive cruise control, park assist with 360 degree cameras and blind spot warning although the warning lights for this are at the base of the windscreen pillars, a little way apart from the mirrors, which makes them tricky to spot. Infiniti's dealer network has expanded to include 14 franchises. Although that's still some way short of the BMW and Mercedes networks, Infiniti's concierge-style service should set it apart. If your car has to be in the workshop for a service or any other work, the company will deliver a courtesy vehicle to your door. We'll be interested to see how owners rate this when we get enough responses for the Branto rank in our driver power satisfaction survey. Warranty An industry standard 3-year, 60,000 mile warranty is included with every new QX30. Servicing Like most new cars, Infiniti recommends you get the QX30 serviced every year or at 15,500 miles. And although there are only a few dealerships, Infiniti will collect and drop off your car if you get a service through a recognized dealership.